In this video I'm going to show you guys how to make an Iberian blacksmith in Minecraft, inspired from the game Zero AD. Now if you guys are new to the channel at all, we do a lot of time lapses and tutorials just like this one, so make sure to hit that subscribe button. Also guys, if you want more videos like this, I'll leave a link in the card above, as well as in the description, to a full playlist that you guys can check out. Anyway, let's get into this tutorial. Alright then guys, so here we are on my flat tutorial world. Here is the kind of quite nice and small blacksmith. I actually quite like this one. It's nice, simple, small. Um, it's got a couple of little areas in it. You know, you've got this nice little storage shed here where you can have all your tools. You can put them away at night. You've got the uh, main kind of like furnace going on here so you can actually, you know, get everything up to high temperatures. And then you've got this nice big room in here and also an upstairs with a bit of a nice sitting outside area. It's pretty, pretty fancy actually, uh, to be fair. So, um, yep, guys. Inspired from the game Zero AD, this is the blacksmith from that one. Uh, the only thing I changed really is I didn't put in the extra furnace around here. Uh, I just didn't see much point in doing it. If you've got a big one here, why would you have another one in there? I mean, you could have one in there, but it's going to be really hot and um, it'll take up some of your storage space. So in terms of its dimensions, it is 13 blocks wide, 13 blocks long and 8 blocks high. So it's perfectly square. Blocks that you guys are going to need. Mud bricks, packed mud, oak planks, stripped oak wood. Birch planks, stripped birch wood, oak slab, spruce trapdoor. That's going to get us started. We're going to need a load of other stuff as well, of course, but uh, that will get us started. So it's made up of those two buildings. So we're going to build this one first. That's going to be the you know starting point for this build. And what we're going to do is we're going to go across with five of your mud bricks. One, two, three, four, and five. Then you're going to come forwards. It's going to be 11 in total. So you got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Do the same on the other side, just drag that forwards and then come across, join that all up. So that's what you get. So you get a 5x11 uh, rectangle like that. On the side now, we're going to go in one block and we're going to add six blocks to this. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And they're going to add three blocks coming forwards, one, two, and three. And then that's going to go across. And actually, you're going to leave a two block gap uh, on that side and on the other side. So that is one, two, three, four, five, and six. One, two, three, four, two blocks, two block gap, two blocks. That's what you should have for that. And you can, of course, join up the shed and everything like that if you wanted to. Uh, we're actually going to do a bit I didn't expect we're going to do, but uh, grab yourself some uh, polished andesite as well. Uh, I think it's just probably easier to put this in, like now, really, uh, rather than anything else. So if we grab our mud bricks, we're going to have a mud brick block here and a mud brick block here. Behind this, we're going to just put in three uh, polished andesite blocks. One, two, three. And on this side as well, one, two, three. I actually left the rest of this part of it as mud bricks. Uh, but uh, I wanted like a, a different colour, something to just variate it a little bit. Um, then what you can also grab, because we're done with that polished andesite, is grab your polished andesite stairs. So we're done with the block. We need the stairs. There you go. So get that in there. Then let's put in a magma block. There we go. Put that in there. And I'll put a campfire in. Not that it actually matters because uh, we actually put in a campfire in the chimney, a little bit hidden anyway. Uh, but that will do for that bit. We can then just build this up, just put in an extra two blocks of your uh, mud bricks behind that. We'll get onto the other bits uh, in a second. Right, so what we're going to do now is um, we are going to start building up. So randomly, just put in a couple extra you know, mud bricks here and there. doesn't have to be everywhere, but um, the idea being that this then... You know, it's not perfect. These builds aren't perfect. I'm just going to leave it there and maybe put one in there. Something like that. Um, speaking of which, actually, on this side, this is where we can have the door. So cut that one out for your doorway. Now what we're going to do is put in oak planks on the second level. Going to do some uh, gradient kind of shading. It's not really gradient shading, but uh, it's kind of close enough that I can call it that. Um, so I'm going to put in these oak planks first. And on top of this, we're going to put in a birch plank layer with all of this. There we go. Let's so build that up over to here. And with this one, we're going to go over with two of your birch planks, just like that. You could also switch them out for slabs. It's totally up to you guys. And then bring this over as well with your birch, like that. So at the minute, it looks very boring and very weird and triple layered. And I'll show you guys what to do in a second. So there we go. Whack in that one as well, like that. With your oak slab, what we're going to do is we're going to actually have this on this level. I actually just put in planks. I didn't put any beams because it's so small inside. So I didn't think there'd be much point. Uh, but you could also, if you wanted to, 
uh, put in beams going across using some sort of wood, you know, uh, you can put them in across here and probably here as well. So you'd have them just on, on those two sides. But again, I didn't, I didn't really see much point. What you're then going to do is you are going to add in um, just on the top of this whole layer. Oh yeah, right over here, right over the doorway, put in an oak uh, slab. Just continue that on. Um, we're going to go around the whole layer and we're going to add in an extra one going around here of your birch. Not on this little building though, that is going to be exactly as it is. What you'll notice is you then hit the fire, which is never a good thing. Uh, so what I ended up doing is I ended up just putting in some blocks here like that so that we've got um, some uh, brick blocks. Then doesn't look too bad. I actually think that one I kept and I'll show you guys why I kept that. And I'll same with that one, get rid of that one as well. There we go, do something like that. Um, then what we're going to do is at the back here, we're going to go one, two, three, four, five, and six. And go across like that. And then block up these two. So you've just got a little doorway on the side. And then over the top of this, we're going to build a little frame with your birch. So we've got a lot of birch at the minute. So that's kind of what you get as your real base uh, frame for the whole thing. So what we'll do now is some variation work to make this look less boring, because as you can see with this... Oh yeah, I forgot. I've even made it square and I've not even cut off the corners of this thing. Right, so first things first on this bit, cut these down. Incredible, wasn't it? Just completely forget. So, uh, you know, I've got a whole screen, a whole picture of the whole build on my other screen, can't even remember it. Uh, so there we go, cut out that. Um, we're also going to just do some window work because then that will help us with variation. Otherwise we're going to be variating and then deleting that seems a bit weird. So right here, knock out these two, put in a slab here and a slab here. That's going to be a window. I put a spruce trapdoor on the side there like that. Then on the side of the building, we're going to cut out one here and then leave a gap and then do the same as well. So same thing with these. It's up to you guys what you want to do. Maybe this one's closed. Maybe this one's open. Uh, who knows? Uh, I think there's another one on the back as well. well. Two on the back actually. Yeah, there's two on the back with this one. So put in two here like that. And again, you might have one that's closed. Not like that though. Uh, one that's closed and one that maybe is open. But did I did I do it the other way around? Or? Yeah, I did. <laughs> it's always weird, isn't it, when you do something like that. Uh, but there we go. Those are the windows that we've now got on there. So what we can do now is we can start very eating. Right, so we've got this stripped oak wood, so we can put that in every so often. And don't be afraid to have a little bit of your oak wood going a little bit further up if you wanted to. Uh, just, yeah, try and make it a little bit variated. Uh, same like here as well, you might want something like that. Uh, switch out a couple of those every so often and change the direction of it. You know, and also have it going up, like I said. You know, just make it look a little bit better. You know, if you have something like this. And maybe even there. Um, let's go for, yeah, let's build that up to there as well. Oh, that's cool. Not that high though. <laughs> we don't want to go up to this, this level. Uh, you know, I usually try to keep it just for those two blocks. Uh, there we go, that looks pretty good. And then we've also got the stripped birch wood, and now this is where we're going to be variating the, these ones. That looks weird, doesn't it? It's like I've just made a pier, pillar here, and uh, then I've done this weird diagonal thing going on here, so that's definitely not right. Let's change that a little bit. I need something, but there we go, that's better. Uh, and also, yeah, switch out on these ones as well. And around here. Completely randomly just plonking in blocks. That's what we're doing at the minute. That's what we're supposed to be doing, which is good. Right, okay, so what else we got? We got this one here. Let's go for that window. Let's go for that corner. I'm gonna knock this down, in fact, as well. There we go, that's cool. Um put in one there. Just having a look at this and seeing what we can do. There we go, that looks better. That looks kinda of like it's a little bit more um strong, I guess. Uh, across that bit. There we go, put in those, put that there. And then finally we'll end up with something that looks kinda like this. I mean it doesn't have to look exactly like this at all. But uh there we go, we got some variation work going on in this thing, which is always good. Right, so let's uh build up this chimney because that will help us with the rest of it. So we're gonna need some mud brick stairs, we're also gonna need some mud bricks, and uh, we're gonna need a spruce trapdoor and also a campfire as well. So let's get on to this bit then. So right above here, we're going to have the bricks going onto the sides like this. On this back one, we're going to have a stair pointing inwards. 
then what we're going to do is we're going to have three blocks of our mud bricks. So right on the back uh, block here that blocks it all up. Uh, I always like like it where you can't really see where the smoke goes. It kind of, you know, it's just out of sight. But uh, yeah, you're going to have three blocks on top of that. Then put it on a campfire and then have your spruce trapdoors around it. And then that would set those spruce tra trapdoors on fire, uh, obviously. But uh, for us, we are using it. Uh, I, you guys can tell me, do the campfires actually make uh, set fire to wood? I have no idea. That is how good I am at the game and survival. Uh, oh, yeah, mud bricks as well. Just put the stairs on there and the stair on there as well. Just round that bit off. Um, for the detail -y bit here, we might as well put in these oak pressure plates. Because, again, these are details I'll forget. So pressure plates on top. You could also use oak trap doors, which I was toying with. And I did start off with slabs, but slabs look so thick. It just looked odd. Right, so grab yourself some brick stairs and some stairs. Uh, slabs as well. What we're going to do first is on the back here, we're going to have uh, so we're going to have a slab, then we're going to have a stair upside down, slab, stair, slab, stair, and then slab on the end. Then we're going to have a slab here, another slab just on the lower piece, it's not on the upper. There we go. Then we're going to have an upper slab right there, and then we're going to have another upper slab going across here and just block that one up on the side. And then we're going to have a lower slab just on the front here, like that. And then what I ended up doing is putting in a slab here and a slab here, uh, just to give it a little bit of something. I don't know. I don't really know what, if I'm honest. I uh, could also put in a stair there. That might look better. Maybe. I'm not totally, I'm not totally convinced. All right, we're going to leave that there, like that. Okay, cool. So that's that part of the roof. Let's do the other roof now. So for the other roof, what we're going to do is going to have an upside down stair here. Leave a block, then an upside down stair, and then we hit into this thing, so we don't need to worry. So we're just going to put in some slabs and have the slab uh, kicking out. Stairs then go on top of these ones right here. And they also point over this. We have a slab on the end of this one. Stairs here. Let's bring that all the way around to the back to keep on jumping over that chimney. Uh, there we go, get that there. Then on the other side, what we're going to do is from the back, we get an up that side down stair there. Slab, upside down stair. Slab, slab, upside down stair. I know, a little bit weird. It's because it's um, even. So it's kind of how to make it work. Uh, then you're going to have a slab on there. Stair. Stairs going out. Finish up these stairs going off to here. Got these kicking out. Slab on the end there. Then we're going to do is upside down stair here. Upside down stair here and here. And then the same on the other side as well. Upside down stair, upside down stair. Upside down stair there. And then we're going to have the brick slabs going all the way to the back like that there we go cool right so what else we've we got now so we can get ourselves a spruce trap door and also jungle fence gate uh, we'll get cobblestone stairs block slab cobblestone slab and a site slab we're going to do this whole little courtyardy bit here and um and also some of the other detaily bits as well so right here we're going to have a jungle uh, fence gate and we're going to punch that through Leave a gap, punch that one through, put in your two spruce doors here, and then you know you can open them up if you want to. Right here, put in your spruce door at the top, spruce door it. So you've got the little area here. This is where I ended up having my ladder. Up to you guys if you want to do the same or not. Totally up to you. Also, if you wanted to build a little door going into here, you could do. Uh, I think they'd probably just keep it as a separate building, but who knows? Uh, it's your choice, really. Then what we're going to do is we're going to have a jungle fence gate here, punch that one through here, punch that one through like that. Then with our uh, cobblestone block, place that block right next to this one right here. Put a slab on top of it and have your andesite slab down. Then what we're going to do is right in this corner here, so this is going to be the intersection point between these two. We're going to have a stone slab, then a cobblestone block and a cobblestone block. And then add your cobblestone slab on top of this block here. Then right at the back here, we're going to have a cobblestone stair like that, okay? And then with our jungle fence gates, what we're going to do is around the side here, we're going to have a jungle fence gate here, punch it through, here, punch it through. Then what we're going to do is where we've got this underneath here, this is where the pattern's going to be. So it's going to be those three at the back, back like that. Underneath these two little edges here, we're going to have fence gates as well. And we don't put anything on the back here at all. Um... Which I thought was a bit odd for me. Uh, normally I'd do that, but I guess I went... Now these are the detail points, and around that bit, that back is just going to be plain. Um, which also makes sense, to be fair. 
according to me. Uh, right, so what other details do we need? Well, we're going to need, uh, if you want to put some stuff on the top roof here, we can grab ourselves a crafting table, a barrel, a chest, also a grindstone and an oak slab with a spruce trapdoor, and a composter, and an iron bar, and an anvil, and then we run out of stuff, but uh, we'll get onto that in a second. So just for the roof, what I ended up doing is having a barrel right here. Uh, diagonal from that, I had a crafting table and a chest is just gonna be forwards from that. It's up to you guys if you want to do something like this. I mean, it's this is gonna be a crafting station. Fair dues, I mean, at least you've got some uh, storage. Um, but you know, it's up to you guys, whatever you wanna do. Um, then inside of this area here, um, I actually moved over just diagonal from the furnace so that you would be able to realistically turn around and hammer um, any sort of metal that you've melted. Um, on the side right here we've got a composter and that is filled with iron bars. This is like spears or some sort of weapons of some kind that they've been making. Who knows what they've been making. Uh, rakes and yeah, spears. More spears. They love spears. Um, those kind of things. Grindstone, that just fits into this little area here. I put in an oak slab with a spruce trap door on it so they can sit here and and sharpen whatever they're sharpening. Uh, so that's there, and then we need a cauldron, don't we? Yes, we do. Right, so we're going to need a cauldron, and we're going to need... going to get a water bottle just to fill this up twice, that's all. So plop, plop that in there, and then water bottle that twice. They've got something to quench. Right, so what's the other little detail that's left? Uh, it's not much. All it is is this ground, and it's it whether you guys want this ground or not. It's a mix of packed dirt, uh, rooted dirt, and brown concrete powder to give it a kind of dry kind of look um, like there isn't loads and loads of rain at the minute uh, so we're going to just do this in world edit and I'm going to mask so world edit is a mod just in case you guys don't know uh, otherwise you have to do this by hand so sorry guys they have to do it by hand sometimes you do and in fact sometimes you actually it looks better by hand I should say that it really does um, but uh, yeah, there we go. So I've got all this ground here, and the material mix, like I said, was uh, packed mud. We also had brown concrete powder, and we also had that rooted dirt as well. Okay, um, I'm just gonna, yeah, I don't know if I masked that orange or not, but there we go. That's what we have to vary that ground up. Um, again, I'm using World Edit because I ain't got time for that. Um, so especially not for this quick tutorial, but if you guys wanted to, you know, spend some time on it, you can make it where this brown concrete powder is the slightly darker stuff. So you know, have it not near the fire, have it like in here, uh, in little areas. Use this um, rooted dirt as a kind of transition block, and then you've got the dry, packed mud look. If you wanted to go for something like that, I mean, it's totally up to you guys, whatever you want to do. Um, anyway, there you go. Hopefully, you've enjoyed this little build. If you have, make sure to comment, like, and subscribe, and as always, guys, I will see you on the next one.